So let's talk about the vertex array object. I prepared a simple scene which just renders a cube, a textured cube. I created this cube in Blender. So I'm creating a cube object with the help of my object loader model. I'm loading the cube.obj file. I'm setting the shader for the cube here. Uh, loading the, uh, a texture for the cube and setting the texture offset for the cube. There is no need to use vertex array objects if you want to render just one type of geometry, uh, in this case a uh, cube. Uh, but if you want to render multiple type of geometries, that's when, it, when, when the vertex array objects are useful. Uh, although it is possible to render multiple types of geometry uh, without using vertex array objects, but it's not recommended. I'm going to show you something here in, my, uh, in this tester file. I'm using, uh, I'm rendering a cube and a monkey head. Let me switch to this. cube and the monkey head without using vertex array objects. But as you see, I'm going here is the main application loop the, uh, where the rendering is, is uh, going. So as you see, I have to move all this buffer binding, these buffer datas and these vertex attribute pointer settings into the into the into the loop for the cube uh, and for the monkey too. So it's not the most efficient way, and it slows down the whole application. So I don't recommend you to do this way. So I'm going to back here and switch this back to uh, video number nine. Okay, so let's create a vertex array object for the cube. So let's call it uh, cube underscore VAO and uh, GL gen vertex arrays gen vertex arrays, okay, and uh, we need to bind the vertex array, so g uh, bind vertex array, bind vertex array, and the cube VAO. So let me copy this line after the texture attribute pointer and unbind this. Let's give it a, a zero. So now this cube vertex array objects stores uh, the vertex buffer objects, uh, its bindings, its buffer data, it's, it's a vertex attribute pointer settings for the vertices and for the textures too. So it just stores all this data, all these data inside this uh, vertex array object. So if I gonna have here normals or let's say an index buffer for index drawing, it will store them as well. So now, before we draw, we, before we render, we have a blank screen. So we need to bind this 
So copy and just bind here. Okay, so we now our queue back and now just create another VAO. So off screen I created a monkey object. I am loading the uh, monkey.obj which is the um, blender's monkey head creating a separate shader for the monkey called monkey.vertex and monkey.fragment shader uh, loading the texture for the monkey and uh, creating a separate monkey vertex array object bind all all uh, vertex buffers for the monkey uh, setting all its vertex attribute pointers for the position and for the texture and unbind this and uh, created a monkey model transfer translation matrix and then I use a cube shader and getting from the cube shader the model the view and the projection locations uniform locations sending to the cube shader the uh, translation matrix and the projection matrix do this for the monkey shader too and at this time it will give an error because when we draw it we need to reuse the cube shader so I'm gonna copy and paste it here so now it will draw the cube just the cube with the monkey texture so in order to use the cube texture uh, I'm going to from my tester file I'm going to copy this this line okay so let me see okay now it's loading the cube texture uh, so let me let me copy all hmm, what just happened so let me copy this from my tester file for the monkey VAO copy these two lines let me see what we have so now we have the monkey and the cube and and the last model I wanting and I'm going to load is this this monster model for, from D Gordillo or Gordillo Gordillo I don't know how to pronounce his name so I already off screen loaded the model loaded the shaders for the model so monster.vs for vertex shader and monster.fragment shader loading its textures creating a vertex array object or object for uh, the monster and uh, creating a model matrix a translation matrix for it moving it back negative 10 uh, on the z-axis getting its 
from its shader the, uh, the model, the view, the projection and then in the render loop or the application loop I'm just drawing it so now it looks like this we have this beautiful monster It looks like he want, wants to catch this monkey and oh, the view starts to tilt. So see you in the next video.